Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Good evening everyone and uh, Merry Christmas. It's the Christmas season, it's the holiday season. Uh, and, uh, and a friend of mine posted something that I really thought was kind of interesting on Facebook that uh, this season what we should do is give people the gift of wellness. And, uh, and I thought that uh, you know maybe that's a, a great message uh, for us to, to deliver tonight. And so I wanted to invite Dorothy Knight onto our show uh, on the Canada One channel, uh, the Brian Crombie Show, and talk about uh, what her expert is, which is, uh, which is wellness. Uh, she's a wellness expert. She's a Reiki, Reiki master. Uh, we may talk a little bit about that. But uh, I wanted to talk uh, to her specifically about a bunch of the, the things that she's been studying recently and posting about in regards to wellness. So Dorothy, Welcome to my show. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So what do you mean about the gift of wellness? Give the gift of wellness. Well, inherently, we all want to feel good, yeah. especially at this time of the year. We start to reassess and figure out our next goals or resolutions. So the thing is, I wouldn't recommend waiting till December 31st to make those decisions because you're most likely to fail. Okay. <laughs> it's true. So with wellness, we want it to be all encompassing. So with the work that I do, it treats the body, the mind and the soul. Body, mind and soul. Okay. Yeah, Cause it's all connected. It's all integrated. If one thing is out of alignment, the rest is out of alignment as well. So instead of maybe buying people things that they won't use for very long, if you give them the gift of energy healing, or for example, I also teach courses, then people can maybe give uh, a gift card for that. Then people are more empowered to have the tools to take their health in their own hands. So literally your health is in your hands because you have palm chakras. And I know we talked about this on a previous episode as well, but you are designed to self heal. So why not have the gift that keeps on giving and that gift what is, is a the palm energy. chakra? So in your body, you have chakras. These are energy centers that are located within the body. There are more beyond the body, but for the sake of today, we'll work with in the body. Okay. So what is a chakra? A chakra is chakra is Sanskrit. So that's from the Sanskrit language and it translates into spinning wheel because energy is always in motion. Okay. So the chakras are spinning. You can't physically see them, but you can feel them. Okay. Especially if you are in tune with feeling energy. So when the energy comes in through the crown of the head. That's how it always enters the body. So think of the 401, for example. So you have a chakra in your crown, third eye, your throat chakra, your heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral, and root chakra. And then there's chakras in your feet as well and in your hands. And there's little chakras, little minor chakras, but again, we'll talk about the major ones. So this beautiful energy, which is always surrounding us, it's always around us. If you're living and breathing, you have an energy field. Okay. Very important to know this because your energy field is magnetic. So your energy field is magnetic. Yeah. So you have electrical impulses and that energy is magnetic. So okay. think of a fridge. So whatever you are holding energetically is going to stick to that field. Right. So if it's good, it, it sti sticks. If it's bad, it, <laughs> it sticks. And if you have enough of the bad, it really clogs up that beautiful field around you. Okay. So the energy coming in has a heck of a time making its way down your spine, which is where all of these major chakras reside. So by the time we get to the lower chakras, a lot of people feel most commonly very tired. They don't feel grounded. They feel unsure or uncertain. And that's also tied in with the themes that we're experiencing collectively with the current world situation. We're already feeling uncertain, yep. ungrounded, unsure. So, so this so, all ties in. So how do I open myself up to this positive energy? So there's two ways to do it. So if you're new to the energy, it's nice to have a session first to get a feel for it. So someone like myself, a Reiki practitioner, we through the palm chakras would like a massage, 
an auric massage, we would work on the energy field. Okay. So I would assess if the energy field is strong, if it's weak, where the imbalances are, where the blockages are, and then even in one session we can start tuning them back to their ideal frequency. Okay, so and how do you do that? Way. So a person would be in front of me, I also do this remotely, so I just tune into their energy field and I just feel what's happening with them. And then I, I am the conduit of the energy. How do you feel what's happening to them? How can I feel? I feel the sensations I feel intuitively when things are off. Like, really? Yeah. How do you do that? Is that is, have you got some it's special <laughs> genetic talent or, uh, or something? Well, partially, but anyone can actually do it. Really? Yeah. We okay. all have that ability. We've just forgotten our roots and connection to nature and self-healing. Oh, and how did, so. you, uh, how did you learn that you had this ability? M well, the path found me. So The path found you. Yeah. Tell me how the path found you. Well, in 2008, I was in a serious motorcycle accident. So I woke up in the ER of Mississauga Trillium and I had no idea what happened. I had a concussion. So the, it was amazing to see the look of relief on the doctor's faces when I responded to my name. Yep. So clearly something serious had happened and I have no idea. I still to this day don't remember the actual event. So at that point I was quite an A-type personality, very much on the hamster wheel of life, flying on autopilot, going through the motions. You know, the job, the relationship, getting the stuff. But the thing is, it never really fulfilled me within. Mm -hmm. So there's this funny thing that we do when, I know this is a term that maybe you've been seeing a lot online, it's called alignment. When we're not in alignment with our soul truth, we are pulled out of it. And it's funny because the universe will course correct us with circumstances. When you're not back. in alignment with your soul truth, Mm -hmm. The universe will pull you back into alignment. Yeah, so in my case, it really? took a motorcycle accident to it get my a, attention. So, so it was a catalyst, something bad that had yeah. to happen to you to push you back into alignment, for, to, for you to make you to realize. Yeah, so we often have those rock bottom moments. And they're not coincidences. They're the universe getting our attention. Like, it's like, hello, can rock we get Rock bottom your moments <laughs> aren't coincidences. They're the universe's way of getting our attention. Mm-hmm. Because the universe speaks in frequency, it doesn't speak English, right? So when we are in alignment, everything is flowing and life is pretty fun and amazing. And we are in a flow where we are doing what really fulfills us and we get to make money doing it. When we're not, we're probably doing that job we really don't want to do or we're in the relationship we don't really want to be in or we're scared to leave it because we don't think we could get better. And these are all belief systems that happen throughout our childhood and even past lives. And it becomes that magnet situation on the fridge where there's so much energetic residue. So someone like myself would work with someone and clear all of that first. Clear so, all of that negative energy yeah. just through your intuitive ability and putting your hands uh, um, uh, toward them. Yes. And then the other person has to be willing and ready to receive the healing and want to change. Because I've had people come to where they, they treat themselves like a car. Yeah. So they'll, you know, they'll be out of alignment, let's say, and then they come in and be like, okay, give me a tune up. And I'll be like, okay, I'll do it for you. You'll feel great for one, two, three days. But if you're unconsciously still repeating your past behaviors or mindset or belief systems, guess what? You're going to repeat what you don't repair. So remind me, when we're out of alignment with our soul, what was the word you used? Our soul purpose. When we're out of alignment with our soul purpose, the universe does something to kick us back into what our soul purpose is. Mm-hmm. Pretty profound. <laughs> Stay with us. We're going to take some messages and come back more with uh, Dorothy Knight in just a minute um, and uh, explore a little bit more about how we get back uh, into accomplishing our sole purpose. And we're also going to talk about relationships because she's uh, recently posted something about uh, transformational relationships. Stay with us. Hello, everyone, and Merry Christmas. This has always been a special day for my family. 
We usually get together to eat too much food, including birthday cake, share laughs and stories, watch cheesy holiday movies, give each other gifts, and most importantly, spend quality time together. This time of year is supposed to be full of joy, light, and family traditions. But this Christmas is different. Families aren't getting together for big dinners, and friends aren't stopping by for cookies and eggnog. This isn't the holiday season we wanted, I know. But here's the thing. Even though this year's Christmas traditions will be different, we can and should give thanks for everything that unites us. Because today is a time to recognize all the good that we have in our lives. It's a time to celebrate Christ's message of compassion and show people that we love them. And that message has never been more important. We can all agree that 2020 has been a tough year. But through it, we've seen Canadians meet these challenging times with generosity, kindness, and hope. We've seen neighbors helping neighbors, kids giving up playdates and birthday parties, businesses retooling to help in the fight against COVID-19, and we've seen our frontline workers put themselves at risk to keep us safe and our families fed. This year, everyone has done their part, because that's who we are. As Canadians, we show up for each other. And that's what Christmas and Canada is all about. My friends, this crisis will end. And as a country, we will come out of it stronger and more united. So today and into the new year, let's continue to stand together. Let's support folks in need in our communities. And let's reach out to our friends and neighbors who may be having a tough time. From our family to yours, Hadrian, Ella Grace, Xavier, Sophie, and I wish you joy, health, and love this holiday season and beyond. Merry Christmas, Canada. COVID-19 ka hal sirf aapke paas hai. Ghar par rahe aur agar aapko bukhar ya dusri alamat hai to dusron se dur rahe. Bahar ke afraad se 2 meter ka faasla rakhe. Chahe wo khandan ke ho ya qareebi dost. Office aur public places par mask pehne. Waqfe waqfe se haath dhoye. Online self assessment kare aur zarurat padne par test karwaye. Phailav ke rokthaam ke liye hamara farz abhi mukammal nahi hua. Hum ek dusre ke taawun se sab ki hifazat yakeeni bana sakte hain. Mazid janne ke liye ontario.ca/coronavirus par visit kijiye. अमेरिका और कनाडा में मुकीम पाकिस्तानियों के पाकिस्तान में डिस्प्यूट्स और कानूनी मामला बिलखसूस विरासत जायदाद और प्रॉपर्टी नाजायज कब्जा जाली डॉक्यूमेंट्स फ्रॉड फैमिली केसेस किरायेदारी क्रिमिनल केसेस और लेन देन के मामला वगैरह की वकालत और मुशावरत के लिए पाकिस्तानी लॉ फर्म जोहान लॉ चैंबर्स वेबसाइट www.johanlawchambers.com फोन प्लस 9233344747 Buying or selling a residential or commercial property is one of the biggest financial decisions most people will make in their life. The real estate lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will guide you through the complete real estate laws to ensure your transaction completes on time and your dreams come true. Reliable and affordable Alam Law. Here's to the people, pioneers searching for better, ambitious fortune seekers in strange new places. They're the inspiration behind Zoom, the fast and secure money transfer app from PayPal. Welcome back to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. We're chatting tonight with Dorothy Knight, who is a Reiki master and a, uh, a wellness uh, expert. Um, and, and Dorothy, what we've been doing is we've been talking about how the universe conspires to give you some kick in the pants, um, or what do you call it, a rock bottom uh, situation. Uh, and your example was your motorcycle uh, accident uh, where you were in a coma, to kick you out of, you said, relationships that don't serve you well, to jobs that uh, you're not happy with, to uh, whatever else is going wrong in your life, so that you can get back to achieving your sole purpose. Mm -hmm, 100%. How do you know what your sole purpose is? Oh, I love this question. It's when you start to live on purpose. 
So it, it, you start to see how you show up every day for yourself, for others, for whatever your calling is, and essentially for the world. For your calling, for yourself, and for the world. Mm -hmm. It resonates. So you're with saying you. that people aren't showing up when they're in tough jobs or bad relationships? No. They're not. They think they are. Okay, so when you had this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this uh, come to whatever uh, rock bottom uh, situation in the hospital, did you change your relationship, a job, uh, your career? What did you change? All of it. All of it. And that happens a lot of the times. My clients will come when they're exactly in a transition point. They lost the job, they had the divorce, someone passed away, they moved. Like it's always those life changing situations because, again, it got our attention to perhaps make a change, make a conscious change, or it's time to shift a way of thinking and being. So, you know, it's the Christmas season, it's the holiday season, and, and you had said that you should give the gift of wellness. So what are you suggesting? Give the, give, give people Reiki sessions or give them fitness sessions or give them anything that is good for their wellness? Well, I offer gift cards for people for purchase. Okay. So That's yeah, they, they do really well. They sell out pretty fast because I only have so many sessions that I can see people. But I mean, you can just get one session for someone to try the experience and they will notice a difference after one session. Or you can buy a series of sessions or just a gift card where they can put it towards a session or a course. A lot of my clients become my students. Okay. So I love that because it's again empowering them to have the tools to do what I do and self-heal themselves whenever they want. Because when you're attuned to Reiki, when you learn Reiki, the master myself attunes you through a specific ceremony that we've been taught to do that opens up your chakra pillar and you are sealed with this energy. So it's in your energetic field forever. <laughs> and you essentially, to make this simple, are your own charging dock. So I did do Reiki once um, with uh, with someone who, who who did Reiki and then did massage, um, okay. and uh, and frankly I didn't get much from the Reiki, but I got enjoyment out of uh, and relaxation. Maybe out that's of, why of the they massage. do the massage part. <laughs> they had to compensate maybe for the Reiki experience not being so great. So they, Every Reiki practitioner is as different as all the pairs of shoes in a mall. Like we all have our own unique style, but essentially. If the intention is good and their energy is good, it should work. Okay, well, I'll have so. to give it a try again. Maybe I'll uh, I'll get a gift card for myself. I'll um, give you one. Okay, <laughs> a gift you, from uh, me. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> what a fantastic gift! Thank you so Merry much. Christmas. Um, thank you. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is you posted this thing about transformational relationships. Mm -hmm. Tell me about transformational relationships. Yeah, I have I'd a like show have on my Instagram account called The Healing Cafe. So that was one of my guests that I was referencing. So this is that time of the year where we may notice if we're not in a relationship, how lonely we are. Yep. And we crave that relationship. And sometimes we'll fill that space with a relationship that may not be the best for us. Okay. Alternatively, we spend more time in our established relationships if we are married or partnered with somebody. And we may realize, hmm, we're not quite that happy with that person. So it can go either way. But what I want people to really focus on is gifting themselves with self-love. Okay. Because all relationships are built upon the one you have with yourself first. All relationships are built on the one you have with yourself first. 100%. So you got to love yourself first. If you can't yeah. love yourself, you can't love someone else. Yeah, really? get to know you. What makes you tick? What excites you? What inspires you? What turns you on? And then that as well will further refine that path into what your purpose is. Okay. So you got to get to know yourself first, but that 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 can't be the only secret to a transformational relationship. What are the other secrets to a transformational relationship? It's respecting and also recognizing the masculine and feminine qualities within each one of us and how we balance one another out with our differences the mass so you're saying 
everyone has both masculine and feminine qualities. And, yeah, it's and, the and, yin yang principle. And 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 what we we can't have too much feminine or too much masculine. It's got to be balanced. You can when you need to be, but essentially, yeah, you do come into a union where both are harmonized. They're balanced. And that's hard for some people, like especially now where we're in a society where I think men are very confused. I mean, they don't know how to ask a girl out anymore. We can blame social media for that as well because there's no interpersonal um, communication. But men have also gone through their own shift over the last few decades, as have women. Like women are more empowered, women are working, and that makes them in a sense more masculine. So women have lost the art of being feminine. And, and is that, that bad? That is our role to be receptive so that the masculine can do his job as well. So and, that's, and, yeah. and so you're saying it's bad if the female is too masculine and the male is too feminine? If it serves her well and she's happy, all the power to her. But those women probably want a partner sometimes too. Some don't, some are rocking it. All the power to them, like I said. But there is always this void that is waiting to be filled otherwise. What void? When we're not complete within ourselves. So we want to feel whole entirely with ourselves because we have this notion, and that's like the whole paradigm of marriage and relationships, where we need someone to complete us. Someone will save me. I'll have my happily ever we, after. We need that? No, we, we don't need, we it. need that. We think we need it. Mm -hmm. But we don't need it. No one can save you. Only you can save yourself. Only you can save yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it's interesting. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit personal here, and maybe I shouldn't. But uh, um, so I was in this in this relationship with uh, someone, and, and uh, I was making her dinner uh, quite a bit, um, and I quite enjoyed that. Um, uh, and uh, and um, I won't go into it in greater detail. But I ended up talking to this therapist who said the problem is is that uh, um, you took her femininity. And she forced you to be too feminine and stole your masculinity. Does that make any sense? She stole your masculinity? No, you were embodying your feminine aspects. So how would that be too masculine? So maybe she wasn't comfortable with that. No, she was quite comfortable with it. So she enjoyed it. She enjoyed it, but, 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 but this therapist thought that I was, even though I was doing it, um, it was not allowing me to be masculine. It was it was sort of putting me into too much of a feminine situation. Do you believe that to be true? I don't know. Well, how did it make you feel when you cooked for her? I loved it. It was fun. Then you're in alignment. Hmm. <laughs> the other thing that you talked about, um, which I've never completely understood, is tantric, and uh, and and you had this on your uh, relationship show. Um, and tantric to me only sounds like going slow. It can be, and that's not a bad thing because we're in such a go, go, go mentality. We should go slow, slow, slow sometimes so we can figure out what we even like, what we need, what we want, what we don't want. So if we're always rushing to get to this destination, this climax experience, then we're missing out again on the journey, on the good stuff of getting to know our own needs and our partner's needs and communicating those needs as well. Dorothy Knight, it's a pleasure chatting with you, and I think this is uh, perfectly inspirational for the Christmas season, uh, the holiday season, when people are, are thinking about the new year, thinking about uh, the blessings of the past, thinking about gifts to give uh, their loved ones and their friends, um, and I really appreciate it. And, and, you know, when you're talking about this path and how the universe conspires, um, my favorite book uh, when I was growing up was The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I love that book. And uh, <laughs> he talked about how... Uh, um, there aren't any coincidences that the universe conspires to show you your way and gives you omens, which sounds like it's your energy uh, that you talked about uh, to find your way. And I've, I've always liked the idea of that, but never felt that it was actually true. And so maybe when I listen to you, I feel a little bit more like there are going to be some things. And maybe it's the, you know, and, 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 and I've interviewed so many people that have uh, been successful in life after something negative happened and the negative, your rock bottom situation was the catalyst mm -hmm. to that to happening. And so, um, you know, I, I go back to Dr. Zeus, who I think is one of the smartest uh, uh, people I've ever met, who talked about bang ups and hang ups uh, mm -hmm. will happen to you. And uh, I think those bang ups and happen, hang ups that happen to you, 
can actually be the best things because they teach you resilience, they teach you your true path, they uh, are those rock bottom experiences that uh, help you go into alignment with your, what would you call it, your soul purpose? Your soul purpose or soul mission. The soul mission. So the universe will conspire to show you, to put you back into alignment what your soul mission is. That's a good line for, uh, for this season. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to Dorothy Knight as much as I did. Have a good evening, everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, that's Brian Crombie on the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Meet Kamran Qureshi. Kamran is an expert in providing personalized advices in the field of mortgage services. He can assist in dealing with purchase transactions, all refinance and equity takeouts, financing for primary or investment properties, transfer from other lenders, debt consolidation. Kamran has been providing mortgage services to the community for the last 17 years. Simply get in touch with the expert to arrange a meeting that works for you. Please call Kamran at 647-280-6663. Jewel One Residences Shahr Lahore ke Til Gulbarg mein waqe four star service departments Daily rental income par mushtamil pur asaish rehaishi mansooba Adaigi, teen se saare char sala asan ik saath mein Kiemat sirf ek laak bahadar hazar nou so pachas se Jadhi tarze zindagi ki tamam tar sahuliyat se arasta Ek, do, or teen bedrooms ke super luxury apartments Attached Spanish bathrooms Chinese or Spanish flooring Kushada living rooms Italian design kitchen built in appliances ke saath Khubsurat reception area Lobby Vasiyo Ariz car parking Coffee shop Restaurant Swimming pool Gymnasium A3 lifts or bahut kuch Jahaan muntazir hai Aap aur aap ki family ke liye Khwabon jaisi zindagi Jewel One Residences آپ کے خوابوں کا آشیاں گھر خریدنے کا ارادہ ہو تو سب سے بڑا مسئلہ مورگیج کی اپروول مگر اب یہ مسئلہ نہیں رہا کیونکہ ہمارے ساتھ ہیں مورگیج ایڈوائزر موین احمد مورگیج اپروول صرف ایک کال کے فاصلے پر کال کیجئے 416-666-1563 416-666-1563 اور تین ہزار ڈالر کیش حاصل کریں سم کنڈیشنز اپلائی کال کیجئے 416-666-1563 مورگیج ایڈوائزر موین احمد جی ٹی اے ریل اسٹیٹ انویسمنٹس پری کنسٹرکشن اور ری سیل Consult trusted realtors. Get first access and incentives. Contact Khalid Disease or Mashud Khalid. 647-865-2949. Was your family or business prepared for this financial crisis? Want to learn how I prepare my clients with the essential financial planning pyramid for any financial crisis come their way? Hello, this is Zahid Sayed from Roj Financial. For your complimentary Zoom or Skype meeting, call my office at 905-624-0008 or visit arojfinancial.com. KK Travels believe in providing everyone with first-class customer service. We take care of not only your air ticket, but dignity and respect as well. We are available on WhatsApp anytime for you even while you are in Pakistan or any other destination. We provide the lowest price guaranteed and are open to price match any airline. 
We are KK Travels under supervision of Gas Khan at 905-367-9433 or visit www.gaskhantravels.com. Are you looking for a different type of realtor? Meet Suhail Khan, broker owner of Century 21 Innovative Realty Inc. You don't need to know a lot about real estate, but you do need to know Suhail Khan, who knows a whole lot about real estate. He knows contracts, negotiations, research, he knows the market, and he really knows the area. When it comes to real estate buying or selling, Suhail Khan is a know-it-all. Get to know Suhail Khan, 416-822-0305 or at SuhailKhan.ca. Experience excellence. Team Farhan Mortgage Solutions आपकी खिदमत में पेश पेश 15 साल तजरबे के हामिल आपकी जरूरियत और मर्जी के एन मुताबिक कारोबारी रिहायशी तामिराती और जरई मॉर्गेज सर्विसेज हमारा कम तरीन मॉर्गेज रेट टीम फरहान को एक दफा खिदमत का जरूर मौका दीजिएगा uh, and this is my personal promise to you you will not be disappointed at, at Team Farhan, we, we have, have a mortgage, mortgage solution designed for you. Mazid Malumat ke liye 416-569-9294 Ya phir visit ke jiye hamari website www.teamfarhan.com Welcome to Soho's Fashion Studio, a wonderland of designer and bridal couture, where our in-house designers will design your dream dress and our fashion houses in Pakistan will create it. Find casual to luxury fabrics under one roof. Quality is our number one priority. We are open Tuesday to Sunday, 1230 to 7.30. Shipping internationally and within Canada is also available. Visit us at 2275 Britannia Road West, Mississauga, Unit 15. Or call us at 647-967-0351. Air Wings Travel and Tours, North America ki sabse baayatamad aur fastest air travel services. 25 saal ka tajarba liye, la tadad affordable travel deals ke saath. Excellence in customer services on just one phone call. Ye hai Air Wings Travel and Tours. For booking, call now 1 855 247 9464 or 905 272 2300. Air Wings Travel and Tours. Consumer Choice Award recipients and GTA's top ranked service provider, Dixie Electronics, authorized dealer of all major companies. Shop with a peace of mind and low prices are always guaranteed. I promise best customer service and lowest prices in GTA because we beat prices from all major stores and small stores. At Dixie Electronics, our motto is we sell quality and deliver confidence. Dixie Electronics and Appliances, 5120 Dixie Road, Unit 11, Mississauga. Phone number 905-625-5900. Life is precious and health is the greatest gift. The best investment you can ever make is in your own health and life. Take steps now for your health and life concerns, which includes drug and dental insurance, travel insurance, critical illness, disability income insurance, and super visa insurance. We also provide life insurance, RESP, RRSP, and segregated funds. To make the informed decision, contact Babar Chuktai, your health benefit advisor at 416-816-9210. It's 416-816-9210. If you are looking for a reliable, professional and affordable travel agency in your town, then your search is over. Global Travel & Tours is your personal travel partner. Our dedicated staff at Mississauga, Jeddah and Islamabad is always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable, and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance, and travel insurance. We are the number one pilgrimage specialist for Hajj, Umrah, as well as Ziyarat to Iran and Iraq. Global Travel and Tours is a one-stop solution for your travel, immigration, and forex needs. We are IATA approved agents and an authorized Umrah agent. To book your holiday or Umrah package, please give us a call right now at 